Hi everyone, we're at DIMDEX 2022 in Doha, Qatar, on the Qatar Emery Naval Forces booth to learn the latest on the coastal defense system by MBDA. We are with the captain of the Qatar Emery Naval Forces. Captain, good afternoon. Can you please tell us uh, the, about the scale model uh, in front of us? Uh, we have uh, two types of firing units. As you see, uh, this is uh, for uh, Marte, and that one is for uh, Exeget. Missiles. So these two launchers uh, fire two types of uh, different anti-ship missiles? Of course, uh, two types of uh, missile that mean we have different range. And uh, are the coastal defense uh, batteries, uh, do they consist exclusively of, of the launchers or do you have uh, command post vehicles and uh, radar stations as well? Uh, we have uh, many types of uh, vehicle. Uh, we have uh, MCU, that means uh, mobile control unit and MCS, that means uh, mobile sensor unit. Captain, what are the main missions of the CDS? Our uh, main mission to protect our country and our territorial water. And uh, are the systems uh, fielded already? Hopefully uh, the end of this year, inshallah. So it should be ready to protect the World Cup in Qatar? We will be in uh, World Cup, inshallah. All right, thank you very much. Thank you so much. We are now with Andrea Comide, technical expert for anti-ship missiles at MBDA. Andrea, good afternoon. What can you tell us about the coastal defense system? Well, thanks, Xavier. Well, first of all, I would say it's a pleasure to be here on the Qatari Miri Naval Forces booth to talk about this system that we are proud to have uh, developed for, for our customer. The system operates with two different kind of missiles. The first one we can see over there is the Exocet MM40 Block 3 missile. Uh, it's very well known, it's part of the Exocet family, which uh, is uh, operative since decades all around the world. And uh, it's operating for very long range engagement. But we are also proud that we have introduced here uh, for the first time the latest member of the Marte family. Also this one operating since decades all around the world and namely also in the Italian Navy, the Marte Extended Range. Uh, talking about the Marte Extended Range, what's the latest with this system? Well, the system has arrived at the final stage. So we did all the qualification firings, we are now producing it. Uh, it's the latest member of the family, as we have said before. We increased a lot of performances across the time. Uh, now we have this well, the name itself says it's extended range, so we arrive to 100 km range. This is very important to give standoff capability to our platforms. We also embedded a number of other features inside that are common to any modern uh, anti-ship missile, but we did it as MBDA to the best of the state of the art as available today. As far as I know, one uh, key new feature is uh, the integration of Marte ER on board uh, NH-90 helicopters. Can you tell us more? How challenging was that? Uh, actually, Marte has uh, been installed on helicopters in the previous generations for quite a long time. So the Mark IIs is operating now, is in service in the Italian Navy NH-90 helicopter. And when we thought about this extended range version, one of the key requirements was to maintain as much as possible the interfaces as they are today with the Mark IIs. And we achieved that. So actually the integration of the NH-90 has been, practically speaking, mechanically very easy. We just needed to update the mission software clearly and to run all the tasks that are necessary and mandatory to certify the helicopter to, for safe operation and good military operation. And that's what we did over the past few years. Andrea, you mentioned you're reaching the end of the development for the Marte, but is it the end of the story? Absolutely not. As a company, we are absolutely committed to our customers. Development is just part of it. But once we deliver, we need to provide them all the assistance they need, training, technical assistance, support, all of this. We are committed to do that to all of our customers and specifically to the Qatari Amiri Naval Forces in this case, absolutely. Andrea, thank you very much. You're welcome, most welcome. Thank you, Xavier. <laughs>